The lion is the strongest animal that belongs to the animal kingdom. Lions are considered as the king of the jungle because they are durable and have a high hunting capacity. However, there are numerous subspecies of lions. Here are four subspecies of lions. Number 4 Ethiopian Lion. In a remote national park in Ethiopia, a species of lion thought to be extinct was rediscovered in 2016. Wildlife advocates at the University of Oxford in England heard stories from park staff and locals about the lions that live in Alatash National Park in northwestern Ethiopia, near Sudan. After setting up a series of cameras to capture photos at night, the team captured images of the rare Central African species, the Ethiopian lion. Although the original population of lions at the beginning of the last century saw some 400,000 lions in all of Africa, the account is now down to only about 20,000. So for conservationists, these observations are exciting. It is said that around 100 to 200 lions live in the national park. While some may believe poaching is the main reason for the decline, wildlife program manager Mark Jones believes conflict with locals, habitat loss and prey loss are more serious consequences for the lion population. Sightings of this rare species were truly exciting when a University of Utah ornithologist traveled to Bale Mountains National Park in 2017 with the intention of studying the long-term effects of climate change on birds. As it turns out, he ended up bumping into one of the black-maned Ethiopian lions while out walking at night, capturing footage of the rare creature taking a night walk, a truly once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 3 White Lion. In March 2018, animal guides at a game reserve in South Africa found a sight they didn't expect. A rare white lion cub in the wild while looking at a sleeping male lion near the Timbavati River. A reserve field guide named Lyle McCabe heard the call of a young bear cub coming from a nearby brush. Moving closer to investigate, McCabe saw the lion poking its head out from where he was nursing. Although white lion cubs are not entirely unheard of, they are rare because they are only born when both parents have a recessive mutation in the gene that produces melanins. Not considered albinos, these white lions are known as leucists because they retain pigment in different areas of their body. Their majestic appearance has earned them the distinction of being revered as sacred beings by the tribes of southern Africa. They are also considered symbols of leadership and pride for those who live in the Timbawati region. They are known to have golden or blue eyes with black lines on their noses and behind their ears. Males have blonde or pale white hair on the mane and on the tip of the tail. Unfortunately, because they look so different, it often means that white lion cubs are more likely to be attacked by other predators because they stand out. Their usual reddish color allows them to more easily blend in with tall grass and other vegetation. They also hunt more at night, which would further disadvantage white lions as they try to camouflage themselves while stalking their prey. Unfortunately, putting white lions in captivity for breeding is not a better option. A study of 19 white lion cubs raised in an Italian zoo showed that four were stillborn and another 13 did not survive the first month. Only one of the cubs lived for a long time, and even then he suffered from neurological disorders. No one knows why they do better in the wild instead of breeding in captivity. But for now, we can hope that even in small pockets, this rare breed known to survive in the wild for up to 18 years will continue to persevere. Number 2 Addis Ababa Lion. Although you might think that all lion species are related in some way, researchers recently discovered that the Addis Ababa lion in Ethiopia is actually genetically different. Other lion populations, due to this discovery, expect stricter conservation measures to preserve vulnerable species. The lions, whose long, dark manes and small stature distinguish them visually from other lion species, have distinctive DNA that was discovered by a team that studied all 15 captive lions at the Addis Ababa Zoo. They found that the males at the zoo were the last extant lions to have the distinctive mane, which sets them apart genetically from all extant lion populations. Treating these lions as genetically different would allow conservationists to further protect them from extinction. By establishing a captive breeding program, they could hopefully preserve this unique subspecies in Ethiopia, where lion numbers continue to decline. Originally belonging to the late emperor of Ethiopia, these lions continue to be a link to the Ethiopian species' past, and while some still hope their study may provide links to wild relatives, protecting those that remain is the only way to avoid extinction. Extinction of this unique species. Number 1 Cape Lion. The second largest and heaviest subspecies of lion, the Cape Lion, weighed more than 600 pounds and was 1.5 times larger than the average African lion. Distinguished by its thick black mane 
and golden fringe around its face. The big cat was known to be up to 11 feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. Named for its original range in the African Cape, the lion was one of two subspecies that lived in the lowlands of South Africa in and around the Cape. Unfortunately because of Dutch and English settlers who come to the mainland to hunt for sport, the Lion of the Cape, having lived 500,000 years ago, it finally died out when the, the last of the lions died in the mid-1800s. Some believe that because the subspecies tend to interbreed, it is possible that the Cape lions are an isolated tribe of Transvaal lions. Who, as we talked about in the last video, still survive in South Africa. The fate of these lions may be directly linked to overhunting, but in the early 2000s, it was reported that some had been discovered in a Russian zoo, with plans to do genetics. To test and introduce a breeding program, to bring the extinct species back to the present, hopes of repopulating the Cape lion disintegrated, when the zoo director died in 2010 and the zoo closed. All that remains today are stuffed specimens in the natural history museums of London, Paris, and Germany, bearing witness to these lost ties to a noble species that disappeared too soon. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up.